What's up, everyone? Tiger Stacker here. Earlier th this year, I, like so many other different content creators, gave you my predictions for 2024. In this video that I released about six months ago, Predictions and Strategies 2024. In this video, once the election occurs, we are going to see the unrest of our economy. And it depends on who's going to be the winner of this election. So I am predicting based upon the election. We're going to see not much change until the election. If Biden happens to win, I'm expecting gold to jump up to $2,250. Silver to go up to $26 to $27 by the end of 2024. If Trump happens to win, I'm not expecting much of a jump because he will add more stability to our economy by having our economy start to do what it used to years ago, produce goods and services, and start to be able to deal with the global economy. We'll have our own fuel coming back, industry coming back into America. And subsequently, that will give us the stability that we had about 100 years ago, which is what made us the global economy that took over as the world reserve currency after Great Britain. So I'm expecting $2,150 for gold and between $25 and $25.50 for silver. But now, because of the total annihilation of President Biden during the debate by President Trump, it is clear that his mental capacities have been declining. Something that many of us believe was lied to us and hidden from the public, including our vice president. And without a new election, a new primary, it looks like the democratic machine that exists has decided to throw away all of the voters' decisions and put Kamala Harris as their candidate. It's not official as of this date July 27, 2024, but it looks like it's going to be that way. And they've also asked President Trump to debate Vice President Harris, to which he declined until she is actually an official candidate, which I don't blame. They've changed their minds on the obvious win of President Trump at the debate with Biden. If he happens to totally dominate Vice President Harris, what's going to prevent them from changing it again? So I can't blame them. This is just as scary, or maybe even more so, than President Biden. This is one of the things I fear that if President Biden got reelected and his health took away his ability to serve, which I believe it certainly has already, then Vice President Harris would already become President Harris by constitutional rights. But more importantly, how does this affect what I believe will be the outcome of the prices of precious metals by spot price? Well, in a previous video, I've showed you how I look at the gold and silver ratio, to which I want to point this out to you again right now. As of July 27, 2024, these are the spot prices, which are not as good as they were on the 7th, and these are the retail prices. Subsequently, the regular gold-silver ratio, GSR, has grown from 77.85.3, and the gold Eagle to silver eagle ratio has grown to almost 70. And the gold buffalo point to silver buffalo round has grown to 83. This, I believe, is in response to the turmoil that's going on right now. I also believe that China and India will not stop buying. And they will continue to use our traders market to buy from us and take our supplies. Because it, the traders are getting a little bit profit from this situation. What do you believe will be the results, depending on which candidate wins the election? This is what I believe. If Vice President Harris becomes President Harris, we are going to see at least an increase between $2,500 to $2,600 for every ounce of gold. Silver spot price will grow between $35, $40 per ounce. If Trump wins, I believe that there won't be that much of a change. I think we'll be dealing with 23 to $24 per ounce for gold and 32 to 33 ounce for spot price for silver. Why do I believe that? A lot of reasons. The Green New Deal versus drill baby drill. A system that we don't even have this infrastructure for in this Green New Deal. However, we have a system that has been proven for decades of using our own for ourselves 
instead of buying from other countries, which makes us be perceived, look like, and I believe self-fulfilled prophecy of making us weaker. I believe Trump will push for agricultural growth for independence instead of relying on other countries to import our food. I believe that he will start tariffs, a system that existed for a very long time in the past in which our country obtained money on which to function instead of taxing and increased taxing of our already overtaxed citizen population. This will allow our economy to thrive because people will not have to give as much money to the government and therefore can afford to buy goods and services, even in the light of the fact that I don't think Trump will be able to completely reverse the inflation at its current point, but this will help tremendously. The reestablishment of the border wall and decreasing the financial strain that all the illegal immigrants have been put upon our financial components to our country. The amount of food, shelter, free health insurance, free transportation to every state in our union will decrease a lot of our burdens and subsequently bring a lot of financial stability. Why should they be allowed to stay in this country illegally? As you all know, I dated internationally to find a lady who shared my same religion, viewpoints, background, and the way that I was raised. I was not able to find such a lady in America. I dated internationally, found the right lady, and went through the process of bringing over a fiancé for the intention of getting married. That was well over 15 years ago. I paid the entire way through. I paid for the attorney bills, the immigration laws, bills for the immigration process, and at that time the price had more than tripled. We went through all the testing to prove that we had a legitimate marriage and she didn't come here for the wrong reasons. We were investigated and given the right to continue on with our relationship. She studied hard, became a citizen of this country, and was very proud when she earned her citizenship. So why should we and every other legal citizen and spouse have to go through all this hardship, financial stress and strain, and all the other uh, process that is needed for legal immigration, and we just give all our finances, all our everything, to people who are here illegally, irregardless of the illegal activities that have been going on. That just makes it worse. So I think that this will cause us to have a stronger financial situation. The next reason is by stopping the progression of CBDCs, which Trump stated he is seriously against. However, I am still seriously concerned about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency having full reign. Will there be regulations? Will the regulations be willy-nilly? Also, let us not forget history. Let us not forget the hundreds of paper currencies that existed in the early 1900s that pushed for the crisis financially that was set up so that the citizens of the time were begging the federal government to become the only source of paper currency and subsequently hand it over to the Federal Reserve. Is this a situation that is repeating itself? I don't have any of Solomon's wisdom or any of God's omnipotence, but with my own wisdom, I think we are headed that way. So let's keep our eyes and ears open so that we can see what's coming and be prepared for it. Now, I want to also point out that these predictions are my own. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. I do me, you do you. But I think that the predictions I've made or anybody else will make will need to be changed again if the Democrats change their nominee again. So what do you think? What are your predictions? How do you feel our currency will be changed by whichever candidate becomes president? How do you think it will affect spot price of gold, silver, as well as the other metals, platinum, palladium, rhodium, osmium, etc.? Do you think it will change at all? Do you think either candidate will have a different outcome? Leave your comments below and make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and leave a comment. I would love to have all of you new people as subscribers to my channel and hope to bring you more and more content that you'll enjoy but also keep content that you will find informative as well as entertaining. See you all in the next one.